What's up, YouTube land? Welcome back to another video here on Toothpicks Barbecue Channel. Today, we're going to be doing another review on a product that was sent to me over by the guys over at The Meat Stick. That's right. That's what it's called, The Meat Stick. And here it is. This is The Meat Stick 4X. This little pretty baby right here. We're going to be cooking that on some ribeye steaks. Well, one ribeye steak. And we're going to probably test it on a brisket. You know, that's my favorite thing to do. So stay tuned. I'm looking forward to it. Here we are, we got the meat stick laid out on the cutting board. Got some papers that it comes with straight out the box. Stainless steel design, looks real neat. Not a lot of wires going everywhere. I think that is the benefit of this thing right off of what I'm seeing. Looks real nice, put it right back here in this little charging case right here. You know it's charged when you look at the little green dot that's showing up right there. That lets you know that it's a full charge and it's charging. Now you wanna do this at least they say about two hours before you cook or four hours just to make sure when you're starting up and here's some little facts in this little sheet i have right here you can check this out when you get it and more on their website that they have that help out for as far as facts and how this works and you know temperatures to keep it away from got a little coupon right here that's sure that'll work out in the future so we're gonna get this set up on the app now I went through the setup process and I would say it was pretty easy to use. You know, I'm not gonna show you everything as far as putting my email in. I need to hide all that information, set up my password, stuff like that. But I mean, it's straightforward. You know, you gotta go through all, you set your location, everything, give it to the permissions. Now I will say I did have some problems with it locating my probe at first, but I eventually got it. So now you see, I got to pick my probe, which one I'm using, how to set it up. Everything is straightforward on the app. Now, I really like that. It tells you what the um, different colors mean on the charger. Now, I did say, you know, this thing right here, they really broke it down. Um, they really put in the work to make sure this was very user friendly as far as getting it set up, where to place the probe and the meat. Um, the thickest part is meat is where you're supposed to place it. You know, if it falls asleep, such and such things like that. Flare ups, not to put it over direct flame, because that will hurt the back of the probe. You know, um, cleaning it, everything I will say like that. Now, if you want to know more, you can go on their website and you can check out the how to videos. I was able to do that. Check it out. Now, as far as, you know, understanding the icons, they really broke it down it really made you understand what each section of the app meant as far as when you look at your cook and what to look for as far as your battery your temperatures where everything is so you can know what's going on when you put your piece of meat on that you want to keep tabs on your temperature now we're going to take this outside and we're going to get ready to put this on the grill all right here we are guys i got a couple things going on today but what i'm going to be taking temperature of is this ribeye steak and i got a pretty good one i got it all rubbed down you can see it's about almost two inches thick picked this up at my local heb and this is a prime cut okay and i got some little pork tenderloin cutlets whatever you call them hit some rub on those and you saw me go through the directions i hit that little green dot and picked it up and now we're going to do what it said do we're going to enter this into the thickest part of the meat which is probably going to be the back right here and we're going to go all the way in until that black part's only showing just like that and i know this takes right here is supposed to take ambient temperature okay and then the rest of it will take your internal temperature and i got it from medium rare okay so hopefully it lets me know before you know hey it's getting closer to cook so i can take it off and i don't want to overcook this i should typically shoot on my own cooks about 130 132 that way i can let it come up a little bit so i might do that but i want to see how accurate this is let's go over here and let's put it on the master build all right guys i got this master build up to 470 it's dropping back down i got it set for 450 actually um anywhere 450 to 500 because we're grilling this steak this master build, I love it. You can do anything with it. I got the 1050. Been using it about, maybe about fourth time using it. Cook some briskets on it. Uh, made all kinds of things so far. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. All right. Great salt cleaned up. And I'm gonna take this steak. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here by the fire. Now it says you don't want this over direct fire. My fire. It's in the firebox over here on the side, so it's not right under direct fire. 
usually I'll put this on my grill grates, on my other grills, and we're just gonna press it down a little bit, leave it right there, and while that's cooking, go ahead and bring my little cutlets over here. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna set this, they're a little uh, more thin, so I'm gonna put them right here. That way they won't overcook. Kind of press them down a little bit. Get this off to the side. And go ahead and get this close. Check back in about three minutes. See what we got. Now I wanna test this against my thermal pen I've been using for years, see what the differences are. I was reading 80 degrees probably 81 now and let's see what the thermal pan does in the thickest part right here reading about 87 88 86 and so it's about four or five degrees off I would say now I have my cyber cube set up and I have my thermal work set up and I got my third pin and they got a grab on here. I'm just showing you how the temperature fluctuated throughout the cook. But as far as temperature, they're pretty much, you know, a couple degrees off from each other. And it depends on where you place your probe on the thermal pin and as far as the probe for the meat stick. Now let's go back to the steak and check it out and see how it's doing. So about 113 is when I flipped this bad boy. And that's what's reading on the meat stick out. Let's go ahead and compare it to what it's saying on here. Now that's saying it's done. Now I'm a little scared, guys, because me stick is saying, like, hey, that's not done. Okay, 122, 121. Maybe I need to go a little deeper. 128, 130. Okay, so it should be almost done. We're gonna go off the me stick out today. Let's just look at that. Looks beautiful. And I think I'm supposed to hear a beep sound when it's ready. Okay. All right, here we are. We got our ribeye steak. It's been resting for 10 minutes. And as you can see on the app, it got up to 1.30. And then it told me to, hey, go ahead, watch your steak. It's almost close to temperature. Go ahead and take it off and wrap it. So I do like that said, wrap it or cover it. Let you know if you have never cooked a steak before, you can just follow the directions on the app. It really detailed about what you need to do as far as your cook. I'm really impressed with this. Let's just go ahead and look. Now, I will tell you, my um, instant re thermometer was a little temperature difference of maybe four or five degrees. But hey, it caught up to itself. So let's see which, what it looks like right now. Let's go ahead and take the probe out. Now, it's been cooling off. Went back up to 137, 138. Went back down to 135. We're gonna pull the meat stick out right there. And then before you put it in there, you know you gotta clean it because it tells you on the directions. I'm gonna just cut it right dead in the middle, okay? Just to show what it's gonna look like. Now, let's see how this looks. Oh, man. Came out real good. Look at the juice on that thing. Wow, look at that. Pink in the middle. Just like I thought. Now, I was a little nervous about how it would come out because my instant read was reading a little higher. But hey, it rested. Just a little browning on the edge. Looks good. Hey, you guys, if you like this, check out the link in the bio. The meat stick, not meat stick, the meat stick. This is the meat stick 4S, 4X, excuse me. I appreciate them guys sending this over to do a review. Hey, I'm probably gonna post the link in there to get you some percentages off, so look for that. Hey, I'm impressed. Stay tuned for the next review in the, in the um, future. We're gonna go ahead and eat this. Wow, look at that. No need to squeeze.